Hi, I'm Sophie from Scratch TV here at the Icon Gallery. We're here with Joe from Independent Birmingham. Say hi. Hi, everyone. Just going to ask him a couple of questions about his blog, Independent Birmingham. So it's obvious that Birmingham's bursting full of culture and different things going on. But what inspired you to collate it all together into one blog? Well, essentially, I came back to Birmingham from studying at Liverpool University, and I realised that I knew nothing about my city. I, I've lived here my whole life, 24 years now, and there was no kind of one collective website where it had sort of places to go out, things to do, like places to drink, where to shop, independent. And I didn't know a single independent business or venue in Birmingham whatsoever. And I thought, if I didn't know, and I'm really into this sort of thing, uh, then I thought, you know what, it's a perfect sort of thing. Uh, thing to start up and get other people involved in. Obviously, like the in independents do suffer from a lack of awareness and such issues like that being tucked away down side streets. And I just thought the website would be a perfect sort of medium through which to champion them and kind of raise awareness and really just celebrate what they bring to the city. So that was the inspiration behind it. I like champion them. I like that. So would you say Birmingham has a, a different kind of quirk or charm on like any other city? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, it's very different to somewhere like Liverpool. Liverpool is very kind of, it's a lot smaller, so everything's uh, a lot more kind of localised and in certain areas and things. But Birmingham, it just has a very unique aspect to it and things. There's so many different kind of little pockets you can go to, like you can go down to Digbeth and it's all creative down there. It's Digbeth Dining Club and it's like the custard factory and things. Or you can come here to Cafe Opus and the Icon Art Gallery and sort of get your contemporary art fix and things there. It's just, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely place to be in and uh, we do some fantastic coffee here. It's great coffee shops, which everyone loves. So everyone I mean. loves a good coffee. So you cover a wide range of things on your website, so restaurants, cafes, that kind of thing. Um, is there anywhere weird and wonderful that you found along the way that was really stood out? Yeah, definitely. Jam Jar Lights was a very, like, eye-opening place. I kind of, I didn't really know what to expect. They, uh, they got in touch with me and... They're like, oh yeah, I've heard about Independent Birmingham, do you want to come have a look at what we're doing? And I was like, yeah, sure. And it is the most visually pleasing shop you'll probably ever walk into. I was there with my camera, just like, this will look great on Instagram, just like the whole time. Just <laughs> Whereabouts is it? Uh, Bristol Road, next to Quarter Horse Coffee as well, which is a great little coffee shop. But yeah, that's a really, really nice place. Obviously, Electric Cinema is a fantastic spot as well, mainly because I love films. Uh, so much but yeah and uh, yeah Jam Jar Lights it's just really cool they do some really interesting things it's not just like the kind of obviously they're Jam Jar Lights but they do like kind of light fixtures as well like vintage industrial it's really something so different that from what I've seen before so that sounds really cool so would you call yourself a food critic then no, I wouldn't say I was a food critic. I don't like kind of go down and be like, hmm, palate consistency, <laughs> down three points. I'm going to mark these people down. And uh, I just, no, I'm just a, uh, a food enthusiast. I'll go around, but I mean, I like everything. Like I'm a shop enthusiast, like a coffee enthusiast, a beer enthusiast. Uh, a culture enthusiast. Yes, a culture vulture. Although, uh, but yeah, so I mean, but food is a huge aspect in Birmingham. And kind of exploding at the moment. There's all like fine dining, there's the street food and everything in between. So food is a really huge aspect in Birmingham and obviously it's great to kind of get out there and expose new and exciting places to people. Uh, recently I went to Comida in Harborne and that's a beautiful tapas place, really kind of just flying under the radar. But yeah, it's great to sort of champion, uh, champion that and kind of just get people known about it. And, Food pictures do look great on on the old Instagram. So everyone everyone loves a good food picture. Now uh, you see there's Digbeth and the Custard Factory, which is a big kind of independent area. Um, for someone who's new to the city, so, such as a fresher, um, are there any places that you say they must go, they must visit? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the city centre's got a lot of independent jewelry. Water is a great one. There's the Lord Clifton, which has a fantastic beer garden, one of the best in Birmingham. So when you've had a few, you can challenge people to, uh, to and get and get your exercise in as well. Because I mean, obviously, if you're fresh and you're drinking a lot of alcohol, you want to kind of get the exercise in to stave off all 
all that. And um, obviously the church is there and uh, St. Kitchen, the St. Paul Square and things. Yeah, that's a, that's a great place. And Mosley, Mosley's fantastic. Prince of Wales uh, Club is an institution. Their beer garden as well as out of this world. It's really cool. I'm not an alcoholic, by the way, just so everyone knows I'm talking about... Pitch it to the right audience, yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I'm talking about beer gardens quite a lot, but, yeah. What about those staying, obviously you said beer gardens, but what about those staying over for the summer? They're here in Birmingham and a lot of people just kind of stay in the city centre or Broad Street. Where else can they venture to kind of expand their horizons? Harborn's a really kind of up-and-coming area for uh, for independence. Obviously, there's uh, quite a number of pubs there and a nice little coffee shop. Uh, Boo coffee, really, really. There's a really cool ice cream shop halfway down uh, Harbour on Ice Cream called Paradise Gelatia. And they do just awesome ice cream. Like, really, really cool. So, I mean, everyone loves ice cream. And if it's summer, do you know what? Just head down there, get yourself like a giant Sunday. It doesn't have to be Sunday for a Sunday. And you can have them anytime, folks. That's an exclusive. We broke that here. But you can hear ice creams every day. Exactly. So, you can go do that. And, uh, yeah, like I said, just down in Dibble, it's really exciting. There's a, quite a few new sort of street food ventures opening up. There's one called Street Banquet at Lab 11, which is uh, really cool. Obviously, Dibble Dining Club's a fantastic place and things as well. So, yeah, there's all sorts. You just have to get out there and explore, really. Just kind of don't... Find your taste buds. Exactly, yeah. Like um, and finally, you've got your independent Birmingham card. Do you want to tell us a bit about that and how the students can get one? Definitely. Uh, the Independent Birmingham Membership Card is a year-long valid discount card that gets you discounts and deals at 75 of the best independent cafes, bars, restaurants and shops in the city and it has a new place on every single Monday. Uh, obviously it's just kind of really awesome places that I've kind of mentioned and things. It's £15 or 2 for 20 so I mean you can make your money back within the first two visits uh, so that's pretty awesome and it looks pretty bad to the bone and you can buy them from 6A Cafe, St Kitchen, Alfie Birds or Urban Coffee on Church Street or you can get them online at independent-birmingham.co.uk and yeah they last for a year so you can just get out there, explore your city, save money at the same time and just try all these awesome places that you hear about on the website. Great to know and great to see how far your blood's come so thank you. Yeah thank you very much. <laughs>